Hello everyone, this is Tom from Dig with the Music Store in Utrecht, the Netherlands. And today we will be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be taking a look at these two beautiful jumbo acoustic guitars. You probably have already uh, seen this one here on my left. And also probably have seen this one on my right in your lifetime. These are both SJ200s. On my right we've got the Gibson SJ200 standard. Then on my left over here, we got the brand new Epiphone inspired by Gibson Custom 1957 SJ200. So both jumbo acoustic guitars with maple back and sides, flame maple back and sides, beautiful looking. And also some other very similar appointments and types of specs, but they are priced very differently. The one on my left, the Epiphone is priced at 1479 euros. But then the Gibson here on my right is priced a little bit higher. That one is priced at 5599 euros. So that is like almost uh, four times as expensive. But then the question is, does it also sound four times as good or play four times as good as, as the Epiphone? So let's get into the specs of these and what they have in common and how they differ. So, both obviously jumbo acoustic guitars with beautiful flame maple back and sides. Also, both got solid wood construction with solid spruce top. On the Gibson, we've got, uh, as for the top, we've got a triple A spruce top, Sitka spruce. So, triple A meaning that it is more high grade and probably also a little bit more rare um, as opposed to tops that are not graded as such with A in front of the name. Then on the Epiphone, we have got a thermally aged solid spruce top. Then as for the back and sides on the Gibson, we have also got triple A flame maple. So we, so again, we got uh, some higher grading going on as for the tone woods, um, looking just absolutely stunning as we like to see on an SJ200 style guitar. Then on the Epiphone, we also got beautiful flame maple back and sides, but with no grading uh, in the name or such. What is also different about these two bodies is um, there are two things. So one thing that you can probably already see is the type of finish. On the Gibson, we have got a true nitro cellulose finish, high gloss nitro cellulose finish. And then on the Epiphone, we have got and VOS polyurethane finish. And VOS is not vintage old uh, spec that they use in the Gibson world, so to speak. Um, but that actually stands for vintage old sheen or vintage or original sheen. So it is kind of like an aged glass type of finish that they have also done for quite a while uh, before they switched over to this newer name. Uh, for this style of finish but it is a little bit more matte looking a little bit more satin as opposed to the full gloss on the gibson another difference between the two bodies is the dimensions they are very similar but they are a little bit different because the depth is indeed different um i had measured both of these bodies at the lower bout and the upper bout at the widest point so to speak um, so then as for the Gibson SJ200, I'm going to put the Epiphone down for now and talk about that on the Gibson. So what I've done is I've measured the two bodies at their widest point. So like over here and then over here, as in that it is widest here on the body as in the width. So then here on the Gibson, we've got 10.5 centimeters over here on the upper bout so this part right here is 10 and a half centimeters and then for the lower bout that is 11.9 centimeters you can probably also see that it kind of goes down at an angle so we've definitely got some more depth over here on the lower bout than on the upper bout and then the epiphone is not the same, very similar, but not the same. Maybe you can already see that it doesn't go down with an angle as much. The upper bout is the same. We've got 10 and a half centimeters depth. But then as for the lower bout, we've got 11.6 centimeters depth. So that is a three millimeter difference in depth over here on the lower bout. Does that make all the difference? I don't know, but it is different. Um, Another difference that we can also definitely tell is uh, the material used for the bridge and for the fingerboard. On the Gibson, we've got the 
traditional rosewood uh, bridge and fingerboard. Then on the Epiphone we've got Indian Laurel. So that is definitely a difference both in look and in feel. So on the Gibson we definitely got a more traditional look and the rosewood on this is particularly beautiful. Very dark and very streaky with some very nice wood grain. Then on the Epiphone it also looks really good but definitely different. Um, this one could also use a bit of conditioning in my opinion. Um, it looks a little bit dry. But it is definitely different. As for the sound, does it make a really big difference? I personally am not a really big believer that the material of the fingerboard makes a huge difference uh, at sound. Uh, most people probably don't hear it, um, but it is definitely different. And Indian Laurel is uh, not the same material that they used in the 1950s, um, but Rosewood is. So that is more accurate here on the Gibson SJ200. As for the inlays, both mother of pearl, real mother of pearl, but we got more pearl going on here on the bridge of the SJ200 by Gibson because we've got six individual pieces of mother of pearl as opposed to having just the two pieces of mother of pearl inlaid on the mustache bridge. Both come with um, bone saddles and bone bridge pins and uh, they also both come equipped with pickups. So on the Gibson we have got an LR Bax Anthem pickup and then on the Epiphone we also got an LR Bax pickup but that is an LR Bax VTC pickup. So that is a difference right there in my humble opinion. All piezo pickups kind of sound the same. So and I never plug in my acoustic guitar for that matter anyway. But if that matters to you that is a difference between the two. Um, as for the neck, both come with beautiful flamed maple as we like to see with the walnut center strip. The Epiphone being a 1951 uh, reissue, so to speak, or tribute maybe, um, comes with a stinger and the SJ200 standard over here um, does not because that is a SJ200 standard and not any sort of reissue. As for the profiles, the Epiphone uh, is definitely a bit bigger. This being a 1957 tribute, definitely feels different, a bit more beefy. And then the standard is a bit more modern uh, feeling. Very nice even C profile. This one definitely more of a 1950s style profile. And then as for the next, um, a, another big difference between the two is that the Gibson has nitro lacquer finish on the back that is gloss and the Epiphone has the aged gloss uh, polyurethane finish, which is more matte slash satin. So that is a very big difference in feel. I can definitely tell you that. Both obviously have the open book headstocks, which is a really big deal for this new line by Epiphone. And they have the gold Cluson style tuners. But the Gibson has real Cluson vintage style tuners and the Epiphone has Epiphone Deluxe vintage style tuners. Then probably the last thing to mention is the pick guards. They are very similar. Um, I'm actually really impressed with this one on the Epiphone as to how good it looks. Um, the little orange dots don't feel like they are inlaid. They are on the Gibson that is more historically accurate. So those little dots that you see like in the center of the flowers, um, those are actually inlays. So then over here on the Epiphone we just got like a one piece pickguard with no inlays going on. Doesn't matter as for the sound, no, but it is a little detail that is uh, again different. So yeah, in conclusion, on paper they seem almost identical, very similar, um, same tone woods, same uh, body dimensions um, and they are also both very very beautiful but do they also sound very similar? So does the Epiphone inspired by Gibson Custom do a good job at replicating the sound of this one, the original Gibson SJ200? I will let you be the judge of that. So enough talking, let's take these two beautiful SJ200 acoustic guitars for a spin and see how they compare to one another.
Thank you.